You talking to me? You talking to me? Martin Scorsese is one of the best independent American filmmakers of all time. Over the last 50 years, he's earned tremendous commercial and critical success. He's made 27 films. These films have received 101 Academy Award nominations and won 20 Oscars. He himself has been nominated 10 times for Best Director and won once for Directing The Departed. His films normally share several things in common. For example, the soundtracks that contain period popular music, his habit of collaborating with actors over multiple projects in multiple years like Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. The graphic violence in his movies is also a signature of his. He speaks with a voice of violence in films, such as Mean Streets, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Goodfellows, Casino, The Departed, The Gangs of New York, and The Irishman. This violence is essential to his storytelling. It allows the audience into the movie to the motives, fears, anger, conflict, and the consequences that develop within and around his characters. The history of America is a story of violence, and therefore the history of American filmmaking is a story of violence. Since the early days, filmmakers have used violence. For example, the great train robbery, or the infamous birth of a nation. However, early filmmakers used a sort of self-censorship that did not portray the reality of the physical and psychological trauma that results from it. In 1922, the industry adopted a more formal uh, restriction that was self-imposed. Later, in the movie Taxi Driver, when Scorsese received an X rating, he challenged the limits of those restrictions. This res these restrictions ensured that violence was sort of bloodless affair on screen. All the audience would see is the staggering victim who clutches at his chest and falls in a melodramatic uh, way suffering from a gunshot or a punch in the mouth. There seemed to be no distinction between the two events. The genres the of gangster movies, westerns, Bad and war enough. films all practice this take? deception. The so they made an example of, of him and his brother. Also sanitized and concealed. They buried them while it was... Cut was... And it was easy to defend what, what say, and who was good yours. and who was evil. And violence was either I righteous or sinister. Scorsese and others started to challenge it. Nuances. Films like Bonnie and Clyde, Clockwork Orange, and The Godfather are some other examples that use this new window into the reality of violence. Scorsese's violence is often disturbing and uncomfortable to watch. It resonates because it speaks more honestly to their history all of us share and are aware of at some level. 